So, you want to learn how to draw, hmm? Alright, Mama Goat will teach you all about anatomy and share a few tips. My style is somewhat stuck between a cartoon and trying to be realistic though, so if you're not interested in that, by all means, go to another video. Before we start, I want to say that, no, I don't think I'm some kind of art god that wants to quote unquote dictate how you draw, but at the same time, you clicked on this video so you honestly can't complain. Now take out your pencils and get ready for your first lesson. I'm sure this will be fun. Alright, this part is actually the hardest part. First thing you gotta do, draw a circle. Yeah, draw a circle and then make a simple face shape with the usual X. Now do the neck, pretty simple to do. And for the body, the easiest way to do it is to make a box for the body. Then afterwards start shaping it to look more like a body, such as adding boobs and uh, the lower area. This works for most body types, all you have to do is change the side of the box, either making it wider or thinner. Now that with that area set, you'll be able to connect the legs better. Speaking of which, let's start on those things. Remember this, legs aren't sticks, they have form especially if you're drawing a full-grown woman. So draw the thigh and the calf, though something I want to mention is that in reality the thighs are bigger than the calves. Except I don't usually draw it that way, it's just something that's part of my art style, you, you see it constantly. Next are the feet. You can draw them normally, like how they actually work, but trust me, you can get away with just making them nubs or points. Basically, everybody who's too lazy to draw a foot does it. Next are the arms. Just like legs, they also have form. Not too hard, but watch out for this next part. Possibly the most dreaded part on the human body. Those darn hands! Something I recommend doing is drawing the hands in parts, such as squares or circles, and from there on, you can draw the outlines. Something else about hands is that they're not these tiny things, of course unless they're stylized that way, but if you take a moment to compare your hand to your face, you can see they're not tiny. Thus I don't think hands should be drawn as these small pointy claws. But hey, that's just me. And well there you go, there's the basics. With that out of the way, you can go ahead and draw details and add clothing. I'll go ahead and offer some advice from here. When adding hair, remember that there's such thing as a forehead. Leave some space between the eyes and the hairline. Second, unless the clothes are tight, they don't normally stick to the body. You can fix that by adding wrinkles here and there. And lastly, when defining joints, such as elbows or knees, they aren't pointy edges, they're round. That's really all I can give you. Like I said, I'm not an art god. I can only do so much. Anyways, I hope this helped you in some way. If not, I hope you at least enjoyed it. Let's get into the fan art. Remember that I love every piece you send me, and I want to take a moment to thank the patrons I have. I still think that it's crazy that people would support me that way. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Until next time.